other than magazines and papers, do you have other clients in business and industry and advertising? Well, I've done all sorts over the years. I mean, I've done, I used to do quite a bit of exhibition work for this company in Richmond, um, doing big panels for them. I've done, uh, yeah, I've done a little bit. I haven't done much advertising work, but you know, commissions for client for, for newsletters. I did stuff for the Nice Carnival for a while, which was great fun. So that was designing floats for them. That was brilliant. That was really, really good. Um, I think that's the biggest thing I've ever done. So, oh, I've, I've done some animation. I've done some films. So, yes, I do other commissions apart from uh, magazines. I've... Um... I put my cartoons on some merchandise. So I put uh, cartoons on, I get them printed on bags um, and I do prints and I have done tea towels in the past. Uh, so that's quite a good way of um, getting your work out there and making some money. Um, and I do also um, have some clients that I, I do sort of specific cartoons for if they want something illustrated, um, then you know it's a cartoon on a theme. So it's really a bit of everything, lots of fingers and lots of pies. <laughs> Uh, because I also used to be a booze writer and so these two things kind of filtered together and Havana Club got in touch with me because they wanted to um, promote their new types of rums and then they said look would you go to Cuba with us for two weeks with a whole load of drinks dignitaries and go around the island and draw what's happening and I said and they said we haven't got much money and I said you can pay me in cigars and rum which is, after all, what money is for in my life. And so they thought, right, we found the right guy. <laughs> so my, I think, I feel like my job is split pretty evenly, like one third illustration, one third animation, and one third political cartooning. Um, and that's obviously it shifts week to week and month to month, but I don't feel like I'm one more than it. Like if I had to describe myself to someone like at a party, I'd be like, I'm an illustrator. That like, that's probably what I just come out and say, just because I've been saying that the longest. But like realistically, my time is pretty even split between the three. I work for the online spectator for their articles as well. Um, I'm just doing something for a company that sells night sites for rifles for their um, website and for their front cover for their Christmas list, which last time I was worked for them, they gave me a night site instead of any money. Well, I live in the countryside and I'm a keen shootist, so, you know, that went quite well. Only a small amount of, of my cartoon work actually goes into magazines. Um, most of what I spend my time doing is, is for corporate clients, the business and uh, industry and safety posters for the oil rigs and um, books on gas buying um, in bulk. Um, transactional analysis, care for the elderly, all, all manner of things which are, are, are not the glory, not the glamour jobs of like getting cartoons in magazines. It's the bread and butter stuff. I, so Chatham House is a regular client. This year, and this year I've worked with Green New Deal UK. I did one for their Build Back Better campaign. Um, this is really bad because I forget jobs as soon as I'm done with them often. <laughs> so I'm, there's so many things I've worked on that I forgot. I did a project I really liked like a year or two ago for the Imperial War Museum. And that was quite fun because it was just so out of the, it was, so, it was so different than any other job I'd done in any other animation work I'd done. That, that was cool. But I don't know. I've forgotten so many of the things I've done. Through. I do. I work a lot for the BBC. <laughs> I do a lot of work for the BBC. A lot of animation and illustration. Um, yeah. <laughs> Um, I used to a lot. I certainly used to. I used to do consumer magazines like uh, What Wine and Practical Gardening, Big Farm Weekly, and rather strangely, Australian Lawyer. I don't think Australian Lawyer even exists anymore, sadly, but I did cartoons for them. But you do have to spread it. I've done stamps for Barbados. I've done or, you know, posters for Tesco's and I've done things for the Welsh National Opera. I've done children's books and that sort of thing for BBC. And I used to do lots of book covers. Early on, <laughs> I, I was getting sick of doing penguin book covers. I mean, I, I look back now, I think we have like a little shit, you know. But I had a good 10 years or so uh, drawing for Scholastic, drawing non-fiction children's books. There was a series called um, Horribly Famous which I must have drawn at least 10 or 12 titles for and another 20 or so other titles. Uh, they, they kept me so busy that I had very little time to do anything else. 
Um, it was it was a good period. I'm doing a book. Um, it's Bill Bryce's book, The Body, and he's doing a big glossy coffee table version of that, which he does with his a lot of his books. Um, I did one for him about ten years ago, fifteen years ago. So I'm just doing some little drawings for that about the body, which is great, and it's great to work on because his writing is so wonderful and funny. And uh, some engineering magazines and some medical magazines, various other bits and pieces come in, PR companies and whatever. There's been, there's been less of that recently with the pandemic. And oh, there's a vets magazine I work for. There's all sorts of things. There's a wine bar called Noble Rot in London. And I do stuff for their, uh, they've got a magazine. I do stuff for that. That's quite good fun. I, lo I love that variety going from vets to wine to engineering to Art, yeah. I also illustrated books for the Piccadilly Press and they specialised in books for young people. I, I used to illustrate guides for puberty, so that was interesting. And <laughs> I also wrote and illustrated my own books for them. Lots of different, I mean I did the train station here in Tunbridge Wells a couple of years ago. So you know, I'm basically an old whore. Instead of a lamppost, I got a pencil.